Ferritin is an acute phase reactant and its elevation is not specific to hemochromatosis. It can be elevated whenever there is infection or inflammation. So if transferrin saturation is less than 45% but both ferritin and CRP are elevated, the result is indeterminate and repeat testing is needed. Extremely high levels of ferritin are most likely not due to iron overload. If ferritin is above 4000 nanograms per milliliter, evaluate for another condition such as systemic lupus erythematosus or an opportunistic infection in an immunocompromised host. Liver biopsy is not routinely ordered unless there is an underlying liver disease such as viral hepatitis or the patient is at increased risk for advanced liver involvement and therefore hepatocellular carcinoma. Genetic testing is used to confirm the diagnosis and end organ damage is preferably evaluated for with MRI. Phlebotomy is simply easier and more effective than chelation therapy. Chelation therapy is only indicated if phlebotomy cannot be tolerated, such as in a patient with anemia. Patients may have joint pain due to pseudogout, but unlike other manifestations of hemochromatosis, it does not generally respond to iron removal.